What's in the water in Fort Lauderdale? More and more residents keep reporting seeing algae in the new river. Local 10's Andrew Perez reports on what's being done to clean it up. Residents are telling me they're not just concerned about the aesthetics, the look of all this green goo in the water. They're also concerned about the smell. They say it's overwhelming at times. Well, city leaders have reached out to state officials about this. It was like a dumpster was outside your yard or skunks. It's pretty bad. Residents say they've got some concerns about this bright green goo that we've seen just off Las Olas. It's much, much different. I walk this every day. It's much, much different. And you've never so, seen this. I'd like to have, do something about it. Fort Lauderdale city leaders say algal blooms were tested. Crews found they weren't toxic, but it's unclear why there's so much here. City officials say these blooms are natural occurrences during summer months due to heat and increased nutrients in the waterways. But inspectors finding more impacted areas than they've seen in years past. There's no evidence those nutrients are coming from any sewage spills or debris from construction. Some area residents, though, fear road work is having an impact and making things even worse. Anything that adversely affects the marine life is bad for everybody and upsets the balance in the water, and uh, then that causes other problems. Authorities are expecting it to be gone by November, adding that residents can prevent algal blooms from worsening by following some of these tips. Don't fertilize your lawn near any waterways. Keep debris out. Pick up pet waste. Don't swim near the blooms and don't drink untreated water. Environmental inspectors reporting some of the algae blooms becoming thicker during high tide. We've got a much more in-depth analysis of the problem on our website, local10.com. Environmental officials, they're looking to several possible causes for all this algae, including uh, lawn fertilizer, pet waste, and also human waste in the water. That's the latest in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.